Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we left our beloved Catalpa behind and joined the crew on Nalakai. We very quickly fell in love with being on a catamaran and had our first overnight sail to Bandanera. Like a real mermaid, like you got that smile back on, you're on the ocean. <laughs> Pretty good driving skills there, Captain. Yeah where we would stop for a quick look around and some of us hiked a volcano. And we don't know where we are. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, we're just gonna keep walking down. Anyway, I wish us luck. Still alive. We're gonna move quickly. Hopefully my tongue doesn't swell up and I stop breathing. That would be terrible. I don't think I'm allergic to them, so no problem. Yeah, exciting. This is an adventure, wasn't it, girls? Yep. <laughs> we found a track. Okay, so we were totally just lost. We were, had no idea. We were walking through the bush. It's getting dark. It's like 6.30. Not cool. And uh, we think we're back on a track now. We just went, you know what? We just head towards the water. You could hear the mosquitoes. We're like, we'll just keep heading down and we think we're on a track now. So, fingers crossed, we're heading the right way. Oh, it's about 10, 10 minutes or so until it's dark. And we were in the bush, lost. We're on the right track because I remember this rock. Oh, thank it. God. It's okay, don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. We are professional we're hikers. I wasn't panicked. So you guys were panicking, I wasn't panicking. <laughs> We didn't want to be here in here at night time. This is fair enough. I think we should walk a little bit quicker. Brownie. Yes! We found the blue hut! We're back! Woo -woo! Oh my gosh. Oh, we were a little bit worried. Some of us anyway. There they are. We made it. What's the time? We get back for two hours. Oh, sweet! We got down like an hour and a half. Oh, I've never been so happy to see a blue hut in all my life. Made it, girls. We got 12 minutes of walking, and we are back. Nice. We can ring them, pick us up, and we can go have a shower. <laughs> I wouldn't get a spider oh on me. <laughs> That's I'm like oh. no to the spider. I'd rather cut my leg. Nice. Oh, because of the spider. Oh my gosh, that reaction. Did you have the camera on? Oh, yeah, I did. I like tried getting my face on her legs because I thought <laughs> it was on there. <laughs> you cause a lot of grief then, mate. That was so funny. So I knew it was there and I went to tell you but you'd already walked into it. I felt like the web on me. Oh my god, we just got lost. About we got 15, lost. 15 minutes ago we were not on a track. We had no idea where we were going. We were like and Mum got stung on her mat on oh, the tire. And I was Blew in my mouth and stung my tongue. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god! I'm glad I wasn't. I wasn't there. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's so cool we were. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were probably lost when we were like. <laughs> Captain doesn't know what to do with himself. He's been washing this morning. This is the first time you've ever used a washing machine. No comment. <laughs> he does always hang the clothes though, he's a very good hanger. Yeah, I wash them in people. Oh, what a man! What a man, what a man, what a man, what a man, a good man! So we're motoring along, there's no wind today. We left Bander at 5 a.m. this morning, it's about lunchtime. Uh -huh. Got some clothes. Two families are washing out. This is what washing for eight people looks like on a catamaran. There's so many places to hang it. Oh my goodness.
Hello. How is it sailing on a catamaran? Pretty calm. Oh, Billy's oh, right there. Catch you around. Ready? Ah! Ah. Go, Daddy. Woohoo! I'm a drop in the ocean. Just a face in a crowd waiting to be seen. Big dreams set in motion. I wanna go where no one's ever been. I would climb the highest mountain. I would type the deepest sea just so I could make you feel what I feel. Aiming for the sky. Yeah, I really thought we'd make it. Got my head in the clouds. But I can see the world from up here. From up here. From up here. The world from up here. From up here. From up here. You can see the world from up here. For lunch today, we had fish wraps. Matt speared a wahoo at this fad this morning. We made sourdough flatbreads, we crumbed the wahoo, it's a team effort to feed the crew. And these are always a favourite on Nalakai. There's a catamaran treating ya. It's very nice. <laughs> it's a little bit different to our boat. It seems to be level. This weather's from. not different. I mean, our boat's not that bad like this, but yeah, it's definitely not as noisy. And we love the fact that we can do this. As much as it would be nice to have some wind, the calm weather made it possible for a beautiful sunset swim while we mowed it along. How's the passage been so far? Flat, windless. Up the Vanda had beautiful winds, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, is it because we stopped? They're all gone now. What, even all down the show yet? Nah, oh, I haven't looked that far, but I'm just tailing it. I'm dropping out the minus. Red sky at night, sailors delight, yeah? Aww. How was the night last night? But he slept like a baby, I'll tell you that much. What time do you have to wake up? Uh, I don't know what time I got up when Tara pulled my leg. Must have been about four o'clock. I like the morning shift though, like you get to watch the, the night sky, all the stars start to fade, and then you get to see the uh, sunrise and Get that cup of coffee, it's that morning time, and I don't know, it's just a nice time of the day. It's quiet, everything's just coming to life. Yes, yeah, quite nice. Oh, that sounds magical. And now my watch started at six, but I've just been making bread, making coffee. Please she still up me with watch. me. She, she gets me in with another coffee to take a bit of her. I'm watch. like, do you want to go to sleep or do you want some bickies and a coffee? Yep, sucker for a bicky and a coffee. This is what he chose, he's still sitting here. Sea state's like about nearly dead flat. So there's only like maybe three, four knots of breeze. 
unbearable. It's probably in the camera. I got the wrong camera. Sorry. It's a little bit windy. Get the that? other camera. It's a new day. We're about uh, how long till there? Uh, I don't know. We're probably 20 mile away from an island. You can see in the distance that way. And then we're 50 nautical miles away from Tu Al. But we'll be in the K Islands soon. We are in the K Islands, darling. This is part of the K Islands. Oh, this water is the K Islands? Well, there you go. Being on a catamaran. What do you prefer, Bella? Catamaran. Not very pretty. So we're just coming into an island. It looks pretty nice. Remnants of pancakes this morning. Pulling into this dreamy island, we were all very excited. We dropped the anchor and got in the water. If anyone's looking for a natural form of sunscreen, this is what we use. We use a lot of it. We aren't sponsored by these guys, we just really like it and we go through a lot of these tins. So it's reef safe, it's safe for your skin. But if for some reason you are watching such surf mud. Yeah. No, but seriously, this stuff is awesome. It's a good colour, it's not like too light and it goes on your face really nice. It's really good stuff. This place is exactly what we had all been craving for weeks. And to be here enjoying this paradise was heaven. Spearing, free diving, just lapping up the clear water. That's what that big was we've seen in the water, a big dugon. <laughs> ah. Not me, but like fat. <laughs> When you live on a boat, some ask, how can you? It's so small. But when your backyard looks like this, the only time we go back to the boat is for food or water. Days spent like this are the best. You're in paradise? This life is not for everyone, but I could spend every one of my days in water like this and with people like these. What a bloody ripper of a day. It 
It's not uncommon to get visitors out of the islands. It's mostly fishermen, but occasionally you'll get a visit from locals that just want money. So unfortunately we're leaving that man is coming and asking for money and yeah, we just don't like the vibe of those people. So we're going to head off. It's a beautiful place. It's very unfortunate. We decided to stay and watch the sun go down and enjoyed the rest of this stunning day and pulled anchor after dinner. Where we left um, the island where we were last night at about 11 and we have been motoring because there's no wind um, to Tuau which was about 50 nautical miles away. I think we're about 10 oh less than 10 nautical miles away now and it's seven o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah it's been pretty calm we just motored all night and should be there in an hour or two. Yeah about two two hours. And Tuel is part of the K Islands and it's actually where we're going to check out of Indonesia which is crazy. I still haven't wrapped my head around that we're leaving. We've been in Indonesia a long time and yeah, we're leaving without our boat as well which is weird. But it's been really enjoyable so far on Nalakai. We are loving the catamaran lifestyle. It's uh, definitely our dream boat. Um, yeah, cruising is a lot different on Catalpa. <laughs> There's a weather window for the next week to get down the east coast. So, not sure how long we're going to be in Tuel. Maybe a day or two, but it's been a very nice morning on watch. And it's really nice I get to sleep till I think it's like quarter past six. So having eight people on board is pretty amazing. <laughs> There's uh, limited watches, so it's pretty nice. So this morning I made some raisin sourdough and there's a sourdough loaf in the oven as well. So I've got two loaves of bread going. Um, yeah. That island we just stopped, that was incredible. It was so beautiful. And um, it's a shame we couldn't stay longer. It was really, really nice. We've arrived in Tuel, and the boys are going ashore to check out, get fuel. That's it. That's it. That's it, Indonesia. He's finally there, Taj, they're waiting for you. I'm just going to interrupt for a moment to introduce the sponsor of this video, which is Sailey. Sailey is a new eSIM app that we, for our lifestyle, think is absolutely a game changer. We travel to different countries all the time and one of the biggest problems that we have when we arrive into a new country is we have to go and source a SIM card or find how to get online and get internet. And yes, we have a Starlink on board now, but when we're in town, we need to have something on our phone. We need to be able to use Google Maps, also find where immigration and customs are. So it's super helpful if we can have access to internet on our phone. This is where Sailey comes in. Sailey is super easy. All you need is your phone, you open the app, and you choose a plan. They have multiple plans for over 150 different countries. You pick the country that you're in and then you find a plan and the amount of gigs that you want. The amount of times we've been wandering around foreign countries having no idea where to get a SIM card or how to find where we're, what we're looking for, it can take a really long time. But that is no longer a problem thanks to Sailey. If you too would like to try Sailey, the link is on the screen or down in the description below. All right, let's get back to the video. Girls have been cooking. That is gnocchi dough. There's a lot of gnocchi! <laughs> <laughs> and 
How many people like Phoebe? When someone says they like Noki. <laughs> yeah. Right, everyone on this boat does. The girls make a beautiful gnocchi. I think that's like nine cups of potato. Is it nine cups and of potato? Mashed potato. What so was what's the recipe? Time? Um, like as much potato as you want, and then the same amount of flour. So that's nine cups of potato and nine cups of flour. Wow. Yeah. And then sweet potato brownies. The other speciality. And then we also make the peanut butter, and. Roasted pumpkin seeds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the girls are preparing because we are about to check out of Indonesia and do a passage back to Australia and have a 14 days at sea. So. That's a knocky. <laughs> We've got a knocky for days. Did you decide what kind of sauce you want to I was just about to say. Oh no, I think Bella was. <laughs> Who's going to make the call? What sauce did you end up making? Um, a pumpkin and pesto. That was very, very nice. It's excellent. Oh, departing Indonesia, ladies and gentlemen. What do you reckon, Tara? How do you feel? I would like to stay longer oh. at Tiwa, the Kai Islands, but Captain says otherwise. Captain wants to uh, make like a tree and leave. <laughs> The weather window, I suppose. What do you reckon, Taj and Bella? About what? You ready to go? <laughs> yeah. You want to stay or leave? I was happy to leave. What do you reckon, Ali? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's not sure. She wants to stay or leave. Yeah. She doesn't mind. Not really. Some official <laughs> paperwork going on outside here. Let's see what's going on. What about you, Lee? Do you want to leave? Oh, I'm just here for the ride. I don't mind. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday we checked out of Indonesia. It's our last day today in Indonesia. We're going to visit some caves, Bawang Cave in Tuwal in the Kay Islands. And then we're coming back and we're setting sail and we're leaving Indonesian waters. So, oh, it's exciting, but it's also a bit sad. How are you feeling about it, Tara? I'm sad. Tiwal's really pretty. It is. I wish we, we got to see more. Unfortunately, didn't get to stay here too long because the winds. Uh, the right way to go back and we don't want to miss that so we've got to get moving but have you got any thoughts <laughs> there oh look if we had a captain that let us have a bit of fun here you know, all, <laughs> he's waiting for all it. he's worried about is a bloody 14 day window to get back to cairns who cares about 30 wind southerlies on the nose that we're going to run into for a few hundred miles what can't we do one knot an hour for a few hours I don't just get because it. you like sailing like that doesn't mean this captain does <laughs> We always have the wind on the nose, even if the predictions are right. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Not this time. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go have some fun. Last yes. day in Indonesia! Yeah. Woo! It's home again. Have a fun time without us. Enjoy the quiet. Enjoy the 10, 14 days non-stop Yeah. Us. <laughs> Enjoy while we're not around! <laughs> Than it looks. Thank you. That's a big bender. We had our rubbish and a couple of extra jerry cans for fuel. Jumped in the car with our friend Toucan and he drove us to the caves before we ran the last lot of errands. Ooh. It was about a 15 minute drive from the town to get to the caves. This is Hoang Caves. These deep blue water pools are fed by a freshwater spring inside that comes from the biggest spring in the Kay Islands through an underground river. The bigger of the two we visited for a swim. Hoang in the local language means devil. Hoang Cave has an interesting legend about a hunter and his dog, where there are two rocks at the centre. The big one used to be the hunter, and the small one used to be his dog. There was a hunter and his dog chasing a hog running into the cave. Suddenly the hog disappeared. Feeling exhausted, 
They drank the water. The water tasted bitter. They then became rocks after cursing the water. We'll just put that finding up there. Let's see if there's more where that come from. <laughs> hey Lee. Yeah. Do you want to see you can it's find the best hat. things? Okay. Yeah, I want okay. Do you want to see you can find the best things? What did you find? <laughs> I found a necklace and a ring and I've found some money and a haircut. And the bad chip. It's all in my pile. Uh, the race is on, Ali. Okay. Our swim in the cool waters quickly turned into a treasure hunt. After finding lost items from visitors that came before us, I got two clips, Ali. Marbles. Two hair clips. Found a whole marble set. Someone come in with like a bag of marbles. Oops, I've lost my marbles. <laughs> got a car. Car. I don't know what that is. And I got another hair clip. <laughs> hey Lee, what number dive is this for this toe ring? 62 now. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna ask for some tools in a minute. Some treasures. Just best left under the sea. I just had it in my hands and I dropped it. I just need like a stick or something. You just can't give up in life, you know? Just gotta push on. <laughs> Probably a piece of rubbish, but. <laughs> it's not even a toe. It's not even a toe ring, guys. <laughs> Yeah. I thought it was it. huge. What is it? I don't know. Oh, babe, what even is that? I don't know. That was really not worth it. It looked bigger. Yeah, because you got magnified mask on. I don't know what that is. <laughs> can go I... back, throw it back. Good job, Dad. <laughs> The money we threw back just in case they were offerings to some cave spirit or people's wishes. Okay, so that was the Hawang Cave. That was really nice. <laughs> So Sarah's found her new place to live in Indonesia! Woo! It's so pretty! If I had a house, that's what my house would look like. I think the kids had to contract to paint these houses. What's just happened, mate? Oh, I pulled the anchor out of Indo, mate. Abyss. Sad day. That's it, we are leaving Indonesia. The last people are boarding, the anchor is up, tender will be lifted. The very last little bit of provisions, which I dare say will be a little bit of fruit. And, um. Oh, eggs. We got eggs too. Fried rice, special delivery. Special delivery for Taj and his eggs. Anchors pulled, tenders back. Ah! We're leaving Indonesia. It's been our home for a while now. It's that's pretty sad. Downloading stuff before we get out of internet is actually what's happening. Utilising that last little second. But yeah, we're gonna sail from two L K Islands to Thursday Island, Thursday Island of Cairns. So this is it. So we just stepped off land and we probably won't be on land again for 14 days at least. So. We don't know if we can stop at TI. It'll only be from the moon. Oh, it'll be fuel. a drop the anchor, so we won't be on land till for 14 days. We're all aboard and we're moving. So 
Let's go. Say goodbye to Indonesia, baby! Oh, man, we love Indonesia. Thank you for the awesome memories and all the fun we've had here. Sumpa Jumpa! Lagi! Is that definition in your arms there, mate, with the lights shining through? You look strong. Um, You've been working out. Oh, just a tad. Yeah? You're probably nearly strong enough to pull in a doggy, I reckon. All right, Matt, let's get around and find ourselves a nice little island, mate, to anchor up for the night and yep. have a couple of cold ones. World's biggest island. <laughs> Australia. Uh, I on the East Coast, the I love Australia, island. man. Kai Islands is beautiful. We're only spent a day there. Oh, it's really great. One Talk to the captain. He's only an island an hour away and we had a sandy beach. Yet again, another chapter of this story is closed as we set course and adjust our sails towards our home country, Australia. Thank you guys so much for watching that episode. We love you and if you want to see more of us, you can head over to www.sailingisalbert.com or you can go over and join our Patreon family and see our videos ad free and before anybody else. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for joining us. We love you. We'll see you next week. Bye.